everybody. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate a couple more uh, paper check products for you. Um, I'm going to show you our manual food processor. It is the most wonderful thing. You can make fresh sauces, fresh salsa. You can make um, baby food in it. It has a whole host of things that you can make in it. So it's really easy to use. I have our Paper Chef Forge knives. This is our utility size knife. It is the Try Me Forge knife for Paper Chef because um, once people start with this one, they want all of them. They last forever. I've had mine for 20 years. So this is the utility knife. And then these are uh, our tempered glass bowls. They come with lids. They come in three sizes. Um, and I love keeping my seasonings in them so they're handy dandy by the stove. So what I have in here is Pampered Chef Italian seasoning. All right. And our flexible mats. I think I've shown these to you before. If not, these are our large flexible mats. They're color coded in green, yellow, and red for fruits, vegetables, and meats. And they're wonderful for chopping your vegetables on, creating a workstation, and they're flexible so that you can pour it into your pan easily. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna make you really easy, fresh tomato sauce. You, six tomatoes will fit in this, but I'm gonna make just a fraction of the sauce just to show you. Um, but four to six tomatoes, you stick the little blade in, it just rests right there on that little knob inside. I have some fresh uh, flat leaf Italian parsley that I'm gonna put in. Then I have garlic here, and typically I would use the Paper Chef garlic press, but since it's going in the food processor, it will um, chop it up for me. So I'm only gonna do one clove for the essence of time, but I like my things really garlicky, so I'll probably put four. <laughs> um, then I'm gonna take my tomato, and I'm going to take the core out, and then I'm going to slice it up in there, in there. Then I'm going to put, I don't know, about a tablespoon of the uh, Pampered Chef Italian seasoning in the manual food processor, and then about a quarter cup for this tomato maybe we would go up to a third of a cup and then watch this magic all right so this is the lid it goes right on top and then you use your hand so you can see how this would be good for making fresh tomato sauce it'd be good for making salad dressing it'd be good for making baby food salsa um, so this would be a nice little addition for like a side of pasta or for bruschetta. So the longer that you pump it, the more fine all of the ingredients inside become. So if you want it for bruschetta, I would stop now, put it on some Italian bread, and put it in the oven sprinkled with some mozzarella cheese and you have wonderful bruschetta. If I kept going, it would make everything really tiny and it would be wonderful to toss with some hot pasta and you've got a nice dinner. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you.